Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on the BMW 220 Diesel M. Let's get it right, because I actually told, I actually rough typed out the title in the first video. Chris, of course, perfected it, and a lot of people said to me, Rob, it's not an M220, it's a 220M, which is, no, I, I mean, it, it's not an M car, it's just an M sport sort of thing. Everyone gets confused about that. Even in the old days, you know the old E46 Sport? Yeah. People call them an M Sport. There's no such thing. Right. It is just a Sport and it's got all the M bits on it. Right. Anyway, straight back on this, picking up where we left off, right? Yeah. You've made all of the cuts. Yeah. Everything's where it needs to be. Yeah. You've got to take that off for one last time. I'm going to stand near you, Chris. I have, yeah. Um, it needs primer. Well through primer. Inside of the quarter panel is going to be primed first. And yep. then weld through primer on all the weld edges. And then adhesive around that wheel arch. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, it can go on for the last time. And then be clamped up, tacked in place, etc. Yeah, and it's just, we're not going to elaborate on what's further because there is still a lot more to do. But yeah. we'd like to get as far as we possibly can on this one. I think I should probably, I wasn't going to bother, but I think I will. Have a play with them hinges. Yes. Because before it's fully welded, I'm going to hang the door on there. You are going to hang the door just, on. Just for peace of mind. I think it's going to be fine. You can see that one's just pulled yeah, back yeah. and pulled out. Yeah. And that one a little bit more because it's pushed it in and pulled it out. But we'll get that about right. All of these little brackets I've actually got now. Yeah. Which I went down to Charon and took off of a 1 Series, would you believe? And you can see just a couple of spot welds. And it's, um, yeah, we've got everything. We've got all of these little brackets that go down here, etc. We've pretty much got everything. But I'm not going to interrupt. I am hopefully going back to Smarts today to pick those wheels up. Yeah. In fact, they will be in this video. We've only had two refurbs. And that is, I mean, we can always have these two done this side. But they are absolutely mint. Yeah. So it seemed like a bit of a waste of money. So we've got a source of tyre. Uh, we've got one on that new wheel that come with... Yeah, I think it's back tyre we need. Oh, is it? Yeah. Right, yeah, okay, because the back ones are obviously wider. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's, uh, let's let Chris get on with it, and I'm going to run around and get the rest of the little bits. You've been cracking on while, I'm, while I was out there, mate. Yeah, just straighten those hinges up a little bit and got that replacement door hung on there temporarily. Um, got the quarter panel in, we'll show that in a minute. I've just etch primed the inside of that. Right. Before I put it on and weld it, I just want to make sure all gaps up nice. Yeah. Got no headaches once it's welded on it, it's all there. Um, so, I'm not Pre sure. yeah, pr that's good then. So, you've, you've Basically, you've put the door on there because you want that shut. Yeah. yeah. I, I actually did that while the edge primer's drawing. Oh, you've done the whole yeah, inside so of it. Yeah. I've, I've Sorry, I'm zoomed in a bit far here. Yeah, I've been around and cleaned those edges up, ready for spot welding, and then masked it off an edge primer. And then the idea is this... Weld through. Yeah, it goes on these edges. Yeah. So that's well through prime. I think we've shown this before. Yeah, right? so right, right, or literally no, everywhere. There's only on the spot welded edges. That's going to, yeah. All the spot welded, because the spot welder won't weld in through that etch prime. No. Where it will weld through this uh, weld through. It does come with some kind of prime oh, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got its coating on it, but um, it's just more factory finish, isn't it? Yeah. If anyone was to look inside it. Um, I believe they dip them once the shells yeah. uh, welded, but um, you know that's the best we can do, really. Yeah, lovely. And we'll show the other bits. So that's the bonnet that I got from Charing, and it was quite hard to show, but piddly little bit of damage yeah. there for you, Chris, yeah. to do. Also got a suspension leg there for it, wheel arch liner, chassis extension. There's the headlight there, and you've got the boot lid and back bumper in here. Yeah, so I will window, cut the back yeah, window out. Window out so. Still a couple of bits to get, I think. Yeah, um, only minimal. One of them being the window. 
the window, yes. And the trim. The black gloss trim. So I've got the the wheel, I'm actually going to have a tire pot on that now, aren't I? I've picked those up, so we'll show those later in a video, and they've come out amazing, so. All right, mate, I'll let you carry on. Chris just asked me to pop round to P PJS. We've been here before. They do all the bits and pieces. The welding mask, when he's welding through it, it's actually got two great big cracks through the LCD. Not really sure how that happened, but the lady said it works out about £60 just to get that replacement LCD. And I think that one's just under 80 So we bought the same mask again. But this one's got some go faster stripes on it. No, it's good to go. So I'm going to get back so Chris can get that welded up. I'll let you get that off, Chris, and I'll show the boring bit first. Yep. Both of those wheels. So that's the front one, refurbished, tyre on there. Back one, refurbished on its original tyre. That The only one that's got a centre cap is the new one that we got. So we do need to get a set of centre caps for it. Chris has been very busy. Do you want to explain what you've been doing and... Yeah, I've done a bit of time lapse, so you probably already will have put that in, won't you? Yes. So on the time lapse, it was just a case of these to hold it in place. Plenty of clamps on it, aperture clamps on here, which I think we've shown these before, haven't we? Yeah, someone said they've never seen them. You clamp that edge up, you can see I've got half a dozen on there. Yeah. You can clamp that up and still shut the door. Where if you use mole grips, you can't shut the door to keep checking your gaps. So that sounds lovely when that shuts, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's only, you know, just literally hung on there, isn't it? Yeah. So them hinges, weren't, they went back on the marks and pretty good, really. So we are gonna put the boot hinge on. Yes. And put the boot on before I weld down here. I'm just gonna come round that. I've got a um, couple of um, self-drilling screws in there. One just there. One under there, yeah. I can see that there. There's still quite a little a lot of adjustment there to be had if, if we need it. But before the old quarter was removed, this gap was perfect, so we know there's no damage up here. So, but just just to be on the side for a peace of mind, yeah. You don't want to get it all welded up and then you've got to go at it with a hammer and dolly to not make, make the panels fit. So, yeah, getting there with it. Well, I guess we're going to get that boot on now before you commit to all of that welding or are you gonna yeah i think i think uh, now you're back yeah we go for the um but you you've glued up all under yeah, there it's all yeah, primed that's, inside yeah that's it so it's quite straightforward now i will film a bit more of the welding right not too much because it's a bit yeah isn't it? a lot of people get worried they're going to get our car watching it but yeah, that's yeah. that's not something that can happen for a screen you are protected there so we get that boot lid on and let chris carry on with the welding it's quite quite a um smelly job the welding i did just go and get chris that new mask but you actually ordered one online Black that, Friday, yeah. and it was air fed yeah, it's got a little fan in it, yeah, to give you air circulation. And what happened, you were telling me this morning? I mean, that was quite a good deal anyway. They sold out and they were refunded me. Yeah. Because uh, I think they said something like February. Yeah. And for delivery. We need it today. Right, let's carry on. So just put the boot lid on there. And as you can see, just like Chris said, before we removed it, the gap is completely parallel. And also, it actually fits really nice. And shut... Yeah. We go with that one. Yeah, shot's lovely. Absolutely perfect. So now he can actually, he's got that exactly where he wants it. We'll remove the boot lid again, and then you're going to get those welds welded up. That's it. Probably didn't hear you that bit. We've just turned the mics off. I'm 
think Chris will be uh, happy to see the back of this one, but that is the hardest part done, do you think? There's a little bit more spot welding to do, but yeah, the, that's broke the back of it now, isn't it? Which is nice and lovely to see that car. We did, you did say in part one, once this car comes in this workshop, it's not leaving no. until it's done. So even though we've been filming other stuff and doing other jobs, Chris has been cracking on with this every five minutes he gets. And I'll, I'll come straight in after he's ground that down. That's going to have the smallest oh, yeah, little yeah, amount. Not a, lot, not a lot. I mean, you're, you're never going to know, but it's going to have a tiny little bit of filler in it. All of this, all spot welded back in. Just before we do move on, Yep. I, I know I pointed the comment comment out to you what about the gluing and rivet yeah could you just yeah, elaborate yeah, on that a lot of modern cars now have got aluminium body shells and all the panels are glued and riveted but yeah. this is not an aluminium body shell so it's metal you steel, undrilled steel, the welds yeah. steel yeah. um weld it back on and you've welded yeah. it back on the only the only glue as you can see there's a little bit there is that's glued on there around that wheel arch right so it, it's all gone back how it should yeah. That one there, again, yep. very, very minimal amount of filler is going to be going in there. And I've left that one unground just so you could focus on it and show, because a few people have asked about the welding. But the, that's, that's it before it's ground up. Which is lovely. Yeah. It's going to be perfect. So and we've that, only got that little bit round there to spot and along there to spot. And then it's and, finished. And we're, that's done, and then we can... Do those brackets. God, I'll just show that, Chris, before we move on, otherwise I'll forget yep. that. That's quite nice. Look at show that. Show the other side if you want. Yeah, I will. Gap. Everything lines up. And that gap, when I first walked in, I was like, yeah, that looks good. And then I went round the other side, and you've actually matched it up yep. absolutely bang on. Yeah, you've still got adjustment on the door hinges anyway, so, you, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it's exactly the same this side. So you've, you've absolutely nailed that. And we've got these little brackets that you've got replacements for. Yes. We, they, that's got to be drilled off and they've got to be, there's an, the one on there that bolts on, isn't there? Yeah. There's one, two, that, two at the bottom that weld on and this one. Yeah. So we've got to do those and then we can get bonnet swapped over, wing on, etc. So what's next? Are we going to spot? finish? Yeah, finish the spot welding. That's that nice. And if we've got it? time in this video, we can th move on to the wheel. Yeah, maybe. I think what we'll probably do is because you've got the wheel back, as soon as I've finished welding, we put the back wheel and tyre on and we can power the car back up, drive it out, turn it round, bring it back in on the ramp, and then we can do the front end. Right, mate. Bit, can't we? Lots and lots of positive comments about oh, the microphones. Everyone said they could hear you. Lovely last night. And it was probably the first video, actually, the one last night. Not one person mentioned that they couldn't hear you. So for me, that That's was good. a big mega plus. We know that there was a couple of very minor uh, interruptions when I was talking about the wheels and when I moved over here to Chris, but I guess that's part of... I think of... someone said the fluorescent tubes can give off something that... Uh... Right. That, that makes them crackle, apparently. Yeah, but maybe, know, maybe it's but... something, but we've got all the correct leads now, and even a subscriber sent us out... Uh, a nice new lead as well so even when i'm not here you can try to use it yep. right let's get on then and get this one back on its wheels that's be lovely to get it on the ramp won't it and get it back on its yeah. wheels yeah that's right yeah let's do it Been very busy on this one, and um, I'm sure we can't wait to actually get it out of the workshop now. But all of that inner arch there, this was just superficial yeah, just bit of damage, yeah. and you've dressed all of that back up. Yeah. All of the brackets are on there, they're all now welded on, and everything's pretty much how it should be. Chris has removed that suspension leg because I got a new one while I was out. Not convinced 100% that yeah. it is just the leg, it's going to be the hub as well. And I'll yeah, I'll show that in a sec. And the tie rod there, inner tie rod, so drumstick, that's also bent. And the little chassis extension, you've got all that fitted. And he had to strip so much stuff off just to get to this. Because that bracket that was snapped off, obviously it's folded over there, that actually bolts up on the back 
of the radiator panel. So that's all now on there. But the suspension leg, so that's both of the legs on the bench. Chris actually got the straight edge out. You can clearly see there's been an impact in there anyway. So this would definitely need replacing. And the tire's been rubbing on there because it's rubbed all the paint off. But when you actually get the straight edge on it, you can see it's got like minimal gap in it. And when you stick it on this one, obviously it's completely straight. So, I mean, we're not convinced that that is the problem that's making that wheel toe in at the top. But ultimately, if this doesn't resolve it, then we'll just go with a whole complete suspension leg. It's not going to be a big drama or just get a hub. The hub that actually went on this one, we'll go and pick that up and get that fitted. But so far, so good. We'll let them carry on. Guys, check that out from what that car looked like. I'm going to include a picture now. I think you would have agree. You would agree, rather. Keep getting my words mixed up, only in this video. Chris, well done, mate, honestly. It looks brilliant. It's all gapped up perfect. We've got that black bonnet on there. Chris was time-lapsing, just doing that, and your battery died. So it, we chucked the bonnet on, and he's just dollied that tiny bit of damage. Got that about right. Didn't want to do no more to it today. But got the headlight bolted in there. Got that chassis extension on there. It really has come together now, this car. It is just bodywork and paint, isn't it? But it... it genuinely is sorry you know, i've just realized i cut in and no, we ain't got our mics on no, no it doesn't matter they're on charge so hopefully everyone can hear you but yeah mate well done Give it a little test drive, yeah? well we're going to take it out for a thumbnail yeah and see if, if there's any clonks yeah anything. if it drives all right then up to the gate and back mate yeah definitely it sounds like a nice car oh, doesn't it nice car. someone said this has got quite a lot of options oh, on it this it car is. i don't really understand what's no oh. no it stays open but I'll get the gates open, mate. Here goes nothing. One headlight's not gonna work. We haven't got the module in it. We got the nod there. I think he's quite happy with it. Done an incredible job turning it round, getting that quarter in and everything else lined up. A lot of work that was. Right. <laughs> little bit drafty it sounds incredible we're not gonna um the, the camera won't hear you there but yeah mate what a what a lovely thing and um yeah ready for ready for you prep, the bit you enjoy prep, the most prep and paint, eh? yeah yeah prep and paint. A bit of work and paint yeah it just it'll all come together once it's painted it's it's easy all of this is easy isn't it sit sorry yeah, we've got, zoomed in we've got a, Cut the bits to order. We've got a window. Window, this gloss trim. trim. Yeah, and that's yeah, it's only silly little bits. Paint, we get them ordered. And, um, but there is quite a lot of um, prep work. So front bumper's very, very doggy. Yeah. Um, the back one's got quite a few dings in it. Yeah. So we're going to be having both bumpers painted and then right down this side. Yeah. And, well, all the way across the front. Might even have to blow into that wing. Yeah. Bonnet, so. It's only a little car, though. So hopefully it's not as much as this Discovery. Yeah. Right, let's get it. Years, let's it? get it inside. Get it on the. Uh, Twenty thousand miles. Don't yeah, it? lovely. Yeah. Are you putting this on the ramp? Yeah, it can go. It, well, it can go. I'm going to clean the workshop up first. Yeah, so guys, that airbag light. I know someone's going to notice. It's only on because obviously we've got the seat unplugged yeah. and the seat has an airbag in it. Yeah. Right, let's get it back in. Just finishing this video, and Chris is straight on it in the background, having a good old sweep up because that car's now been in the workshop for well over a week. Yeah. loads and loads of dust under it couldn't wait to get it out blow it off you can see that we blew it off actually and now just give the workshop a good clean and chris has got pretty much 
60 percent of his toolbox up on the ramp here oh, yeah. yeah so we need to get all the tools put away get everything cleaned get everything ready guys so that is going to be the end of today's video on the bmw 220 as usual we do hope that you did enjoy it and if you do please do hit that thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already consider subscribing you can follow us on instagram at selvage rebuilds and also follow chris at selvage rebuilds chris oh yes sorry everybody just recently you've had quite a few on There's yours two or three, yes. and i've had a few as well a lot of people keep asking about can we have your address can we have you know your address send you a christmas card a christmas gift we really really do appreciate the gesture guys but this is chris's property and he actually lives here his house is here as well and we don't give the address out i appreciate a couple of people have found out but we'd really appreciate it if you kept it to yourself anyway we really do appreciate the offer it's a lovely gesture but unfortunately it, we're just not going to give out our address but chris has turned on that buy me a coffee just for december if any of you do want to buy us a coffee we, it'll be greatly appreciated but please don't feel oblig obligated like you have to it was purely we, we're mentioning it for the people that actually said have asked. asked for it please can we send you something for christmas so guys that's the end of the video i'm waffling on now we'll see you all very soon in the next one